Okay, today's how to is how to remove and replace a cassette. So, tools you will need cassette removing tool, like so. There you go. Something to, u to use on the cassette removing tool. We've got an adjustable here, or you can use a big socket, whatever you've got. And then your chain whip, which is this thing. Today we are doing a Shimano cassette which comes apart in bits and also you've got the SRAM one which will stay as one solid piece. So let's get her on. So, that's how it spins. You have to put this on the opposite way to how it spins. So you're stopping it, you're stopping it with that end. Like so. Hold her in place using one hand on your spoke and use the uh, use your fingers on your spoke and the thumb round the chain whip like that. Tool in. Now we'll see if it's going to be awkward or not. And there she goes. That's undone. A little bit out. A little tip for you so you don't get mixed up with these Shimano ones that come out in bits. Take them off in bits and put them upside down as you remove them like so take them off a bit at a time then when you put it back on you know what order it all goes back in and you're not messing about because yeah. you've got these little bits as well in between and it's kind of self-explanatory when you do put them on but if you do this it just makes it a bit easier nice and easy the last bit this is coming off nice but sometimes these can be a pain don't get a screwdriver around the back and start trying to lever it too much as you can damage it just sort of wiggle it from side to side like that till it comes off then get a bit of a rag you want to be cleaning that free up a bit a good clean up and you want to check this free up, make sure it's not too warm because the cassette will wear grooves in the side of all these sort of lateral grooves. Also, if you, you've got a uh, sticky cassette, don't turn the wheel upside down and start banging it on the floor because quite often the free up will fall out and you'll have all the internal bits all over the floor and then you're knackered. So, basically putting it back on is a reverse of what you've just done. Turn the free up till you see the one narrow little knot. Then look on your separate bits and look for the narrow notch which will match. Which is there somewhere. There it is. Line it up. Our tips for taking the set off as well. I mean, we're for the purposes of filming, we're doing it on the bench, but uh, you will find it easier to hold it on the floor like so and do all these processes because you're leaning over it you've got a good hold on the wheel if the cassette does become stuck like mentioned you can get rubber mallet don't use a metal one like this and hit it in the direction so it'll spin and it's just to release that tension of the cassette onto the free hub so like that and that should eventually just stop it from being locked in place, then you can remove it. Done. Simple as that. So don't forget to like and subscribe, Thin TV. We just sold two bikes and a dropper, and they're coming back when? Two hours. <laughs>